What's up, guys? I want to talk about something that's a little interesting to me. And that is, I was scrolling through YouTube, and I saw a poster with the back of Arsene Maliev, and it's titled, The Comeback of a Legend. Now, I have mixed feelings on this, probably different than a lot of you guys, because... I don't know. I think they throw out the legendary status a lot. What is a legend? I touched on this with Alexi Vavoda, where Alexi was having a good run, but he grew, 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 and, you know, somewhere along the line capped out around 2004, and then whether he went to different endeavors or faded off. But since then, he's come back, and he lost to Tim Bresden, and he lost to uh, John Brzezink, both convincingly and then in that span from like like I said after Zlotti he hit uh I think he had a match with maybe Travis left-handed and I think maybe a few super matches Michael Todd was one of them in there but really hadn't done much and then there's been a very big span you're talking 20 years done very little with most recently losses when he's come back so I don't know how you get a legendary status when you've had like a very obscure 20 some odd years checkered in with losses. If it was somebody from the States, would the world recognize them with the same kind of admiration that they recognize one of their countrymen? When we talk about Easterners versus Westerners, if that was somebody here in the States that had a good year in 2004 and then a very checkered mixed up 20 years would they get that legendary nod or would it be a laughing stock? And that brings me to Arsene Liliev. Now this one annoys me particularly because I think he had a few good years, but we could see the ascending weight gain and size gain very much like a lot of these guys who, who rapidly grow. I mean, if you look at Arsene Liliev before, and, you know, it was like every year was like another 20 pounds on him of lean until he got to his final form. But you see, we can all sit there and say that there's no rules against it. You go to Lizlotti, there's no rules against that. You go to other championships, there's no rules against it. But there is a WAF. Now, just because you don't get tested doesn't mean you're, go you're not going to a tournament that's labeled as a tested event, which is why people have asked me, they say, oh, you pumped the drum about tested events and being natural, yet you didn't have been to WAF. Well, besides the many reasons I've never gone to WAF, the testing is a joke because all your winningest guys have won that, gassed off their fucking ass like the, the guys who win Olympia, running hot. So Arson goes and wins WAF multiple times and doesn't even try to fucking play the game. He gets tested and is full blown off the ass hot. So at what point in time do we take those WAF titles away that you, it's like winning a natural bodybuilding competition and they grab you and test you and you're fully blown out, max cycled. Do we credit them with winning that or do we like strip them of it? I know there has been a bunch of guys that have gotten popped. Like the winningest guy, like Rustam himself. So Arson gets popped and banned. Also behind a weigh-in scandal where he had somebody weigh in for him. So not only does he go to a tested event, not giving a fuck, blown out, and then wins it, hooray, gold medal for you. But he's also behind a weigh-in scandal trying to further cheat the system. And then what? Has a couple good years and I just found out he's 36 years old. And he's been gone for 11 years. So what, the motherfucker peaked out at 25 and disappeared? And then it's kind of like already padded for him that he will not be anywhere near his top shape. Why? If he's talking about coming back, he's from a country that supports him. He's in the mid midst of great years for a strength athlete. 36 years old. Whew. Incredible years for a strength athlete. Um, why can't he be at his best? Why can't we see the very best version of him? Why are we already padding that we're going to give him a bunny 
if he's a legend or somebody lesser and he can't come back at his best. And then I want everyone to tell me how important the juice isn't. Because the only difference is going to be he's going to have the same knowledge with a little bit of table time. He'll probably still have the same skill set with just a few sessions on the table. It'll come back like riding a bike. He's from a country that supports him. Why can't he come back to that guy? Or is it the fact that the body can only take so much and he can never get back to those levels that he was running back in those days? So is the only thing that's missing that dentist level type of uh, Levon level type of usage? And 11 years later, he's like, nah, fuck that. Why don't we throw him to the wolves like we throw all our Americans to the wolves? I know somebody gets a comeback and it's kind of like, depending on who they are, but you give them a fucking top runner. Let's set the expectations high. I know where he was when he left. I'd say, uh, well, fuck, man. Him and Todd Hutchings had a rivalry. Todd never got a win on him. Uh, so someone of that level. Throw him right against David, Todd, Ongerbaev. Throw him against somebody top. As I mean... There would be no freebies for someone like that coming here from the, the West. But, man, imagine that looking back and saying, you know, a legend for a couple good years checkered with scandal. I just don't think if they weren't from Russia or something that we would get that nod. I don't know, guys. Tell me in the comments what you think. And before you go too far and say, I'm a hater. Yeah, for some situations and some people and in and, and the general view, yeah, I am. It's not hate from a... A jealousy standpoint it's more kind of like just a general disgust it's kind of like I call it bullshit when I see bullshit and I think it's bullshit at the very least at the very least if you're gonna go as far to cheat and you're gonna go as far as to go into the worlds and win a tested competition blasted hot with no regards and you're gonna wear that legendary status and you're gonna be loud and proud about it that keep the ball fucking rolling Show up at your best, and if you get your ass whipped, well, don't say you're not at your best. Because we already know you're willing to go the whole nine yards. So don't show up to this tournament with a safety net going, well, I only went six yards. I didn't go the whole nine. I mean, you made your motherfucking bed. Lie in it. You get no free passes here, bro.